one way to understand something is to compare and contrast it with other things. So you have two universal views of reality. One is uh, modern mainstream science. Modern mainstream science normally sees reality as consisting of objects and relationships between those objects. So basically as things and evolution of these things. And we are also things, we are also objects, we are biological objects. So this is modern uh, view. Now, Hinduism sees reality as objects and things and their evolution, but also as consciousness. So there are two sides to uh, reality as conceived by Hinduism, things and consciousness, and they are complementary aspects of reality. And in fact, uh, it's interesting to note that this is consistent also with the most advanced science, which is quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is at the basis of all the physical and biological sciences. Without quantum mechanics, you cannot understand chemistry or biology or brain science or semiconductors or integrated circuits and so on. And according to quantum mechanics, uh, which in itself, according to its own uh, creator, co-creator, uh, Erwin Schrodinger, who was a Austrian Vedantin, in his own autobiography, he claims that the central idea of quantum mechanics came to him from the Upanishadic Mahavakya, I am Atma Brahma, which means that this Atman, which is our self, uh, in some mysterious way, mirrors the entire cosmos, which is the Brahman. In the same way, the most, um, most subtle physical object, a quantum state, is a super, superposition of all possibilities. You know, this Atman Brahman equivalence, if you will. And this is the central idea. And the other central idea of um, quantum mechanics is that when you interact with it, you are able to access only one of all the different possibilities that exist. And so physics itself is consistent. So the greatest physicists um, accept Vedanta and Vedanta is the heart of uh, analytical Hinduism, if you will. Um, and But in the mainstream, in uh, policy making, uh, departments, in the hallways of the academia, in the social sciences, they don't understand quantum mechanics. They still see things in terms of individuals and ob as objects who are interacting with each other. So maybe we could call it 19th century physics. So, okay. So the first thing is that um, reality has two aspects, um, consciousness and embodiments, which uh, in the words of the Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita is that you we have sharir bodies right we are also sharir but we also have, we also have atma atma is consciousness and it's the same atma which is mirrored within each individual 